on your YouTube app. Press this bell icon and never miss an update from us. Hi, hello, welcome. Welcome to the Visa. I am Kansha Jaykumar. This is a lovely session of soft and spongy arms. South Indian delicacy or a lovely breakfast which we do it normally with the rice and a little of dal. So let's do this perfectly. See normally for any dish there are a lot of combinations and how to do it process so many things are different but here for this dish you know the proportion is very important. We are going to just take one cup of the boiled rice and two cups of raw rice because it's going to be double the quantity of the boiled rice and a handful of urud dal with some methi seeds of course if you are not willing or if you don't like the taste of uh, coconut you can avoid it but anyway that's going to give you a good flavor and the extra sponginess from your appams so let's soak all these together just soak both the rices together allow it to so get soaked for at least six hours and then we'll drain the water and grind it and these can be soaked together separately. So I have the soaked rice and the dal ready. It's already soaked for 6 hours. So let's grind them now. First let me grind the urud dal and methi seeds together. Just add very little of water. I'm going to have a look at this. We have a fine paste now. Now let's grind the rice. Now while you're doing the rice, you can just add this coconut half half like it will be brown together and they become very nice. Here we have ground the rice. So we are done with the grinding. Let's add the required salt and mix it and allow it to ferment. You do not worry, you can do this mixing with your hands because the warmth in your hands will help the batter ferment well. And that will also give up. If the batter is fermented well only, the taste will be good and the appams will be fluffy. So now let's allow it to ferment for 8 to 12 hours depending on the place you stay. It's going to be 8 to 12 hours and after that we can do the appams. So yesterday we did the batter and we allow it to ferment. So now let's do the appam with this batter. Though as the batter has fermented well, you can see the consistency. If required you can add some water and then we will do the appams. Those who wish can add a pinch of sugar or one spoon or two spoons of sugar. Uh, that will also enhance the taste and give some crispness to the border of the appams. But it is uh, not a must, it's absolutely optional. Normally to this batter they add uh, a little of soda bicarb or some yeast to get the softness. But we are not going to add anything and in spite of that it's going to be soft. Let's heat a upper kadai. Apakada is the speciality is it has a vessel formed from the down to up it goes like this. So that's why the shape of the appam remains like this because this is a flat stove. I'm using this kind of a vessel. Once it's hot just oil it, oil the surface. But if you're going to grease it with oil what will happen is the appam doesn't stay to the sides they just fall down. So we'll have to sprinkle some water. Now 
add some oil if required on the sides. Just have a look at this. It's been completely cooked and they have left the sides of the vessel. So it'll be very easy and simple to remove it also. Let's remove the appam. So dear friends, for this, you have lovely side dishes already in our dosa to pizza. We have the uh, kurmas, we have stew, we have sodhi and the kadla curry. You can just try this with so many of all these dishes or you can even have your very favorite non-veg combination for this up. So dear friends, look at how our appams have come out. They are really soft and fluffy. At the same time, they are crispy on the sides. So definitely do try this and keep us posted. Those are the pizza is all about enhancing your taste buds. If you like this video, press like, subscribe to those are the pizza and for your principal recipes, visit those are the pizza.com. Thank you and bye bye.